turning now to a historic drought at one of the world's largest trading routes, the Panama Canal. A low level water is causing a global traffic jam that could potentially delay your holiday shopping. Yeah, so ABC News correspondent Matt Rivers is here with the latest. And Matt, you're in the Panama Canal right now. What have you learned? Yeah, you know, DeMarco Ariel, right behind me, that's the entrance on the Pacific Ocean side to the famous Panama Canal. Of course, this is one of the most important canal systems in the entire world. It's been that way since it opened more than 100 years ago. But what we're seeing here right now is unprecedented. This area making history right now in all the wrong ways because of a drought. One of the industrial wonders of the world, the Panama Canal, linking two of the world's great oceans. Hundreds of billions of dollars in trade flows between the Atlantic and the Pacific each year. The U.S. by far its largest user. But there's a problem. Delays. Here we're high above the Pacific Ocean entrance to the canal. And we see ship after ship just waiting. They want to cross, but as we see up close, they can't. These massive cargo ships carry everything from consumer electronics to raw materials. But the longer they're stuck out here in the Pacific Ocean, the later they arrive in ports up and down the U.S. coast. Remember all those supply chain issues during the pandemic? They've been getting better, but this is not helping. And it's all because of drought. When a ship enters the canal, it needs to be raised or lowered a few times as it heads to the other side. The canal sucks water in to lift a ship up and expels it to lower. The process uses about 55 million gallons of water for each ship, all of it from nearby lakes, most of which eventually gets flushed out to sea. And in Panama, one of the world's wettest countries, that's rarely been a problem until now. In your 40-year career, you've never seen anything like this? No. Not unprecedented. Not. No, we've had droughts before, we have extended dry season before, we have El Nino phenomenon before, but not to the extent that we've been seeing this year. An extended hotter dry season and a less wet than usual wet season means officials say water levels around here haven't been this low in late August in 109 years. Canal authorities blame an El Nino weather pattern and climate change. See you on the we took a boat ride with Captain Miguel Tordesilla to see the canal's fresh water source for ourselves. Here, the tops of old trees poke out from the water, never cut down during original construction. Normalmente, el nivel de agua está donde, donde cambia el color, donde está blanco. So basically, he's saying there that normally the water level is up where. You can see the, the color change to white. That's a solid, that's más o menos dos metros, no? It's, it's two meters, essentially, lower than where it would be normally this time of year. Those levels have forced canal authorities to conserve water, both by lowering the weight limit for crossing ships and by reducing the number of ships that can cross each day. Hence, the traffic jam that we saw from above. The fact is that those ships that just show up and they have to wait, that could have an impact on consumers down the road. Probably yes, because of the, somehow the, the additional cost of waiting will be passed on to the final consumer. The canal depends on the rainy season to refill its water sources, and so far, the season hasn't been great. And with the next dry season just a few months away, things have to get better and fast. So we could see this problem continue well into next year. If it doesn't rain, it will. And Matt is back with us now. What a fascinating report, Thera. How likely are we to see a repeat of the pandemic supply chain crisis, especially during the holiday shopping season? Yeah, after what everyone's gone through, DeMarco, of course, that's the first question that most people have. And I think there's good news there. I don't think we're going to kind of see these systemic issues that we saw from the global pandemic, if only because not every piece of global trade comes through the Panama Canal. But the reality is the longer these delays go on, the likelier it is that some of the costs incurred as a result will eventually hit your pocketbook at home. I don't think that's happening yet, but it could happen in the future. So, Matt, we know that climate change isn't going anywhere. So what's the long term plan to try to avoid something like this from happening in the future? Yeah, officials Ariel here at the canal are doing everything they can. It's water restrictions. It's moving water back and forth between the locks. They could further restrict weight limits. They could further restrict the amount of ships that are going through canal. 
But the fact of the matter is this is a freshwater system. It does not operate. It cannot operate without significant amounts of rainfall. So if these droughts continue year after year after year, and we hope that they don't, the fact is the canal's operations will be at stake, and that's something that keeps officials that we've spoken to up at night. And it sounds like there really will be ripple effects for us consumers in the days and years to come. Thanks so much, Matt Rivers, for your compelling reporting, as always. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.